this video is uh, based on the uh, video solution to gate uh, EC problems. Uh, there are four problems considered here like 2009, 2007, 1998 and 2008 and these problems are based on flip-flops. Uh, these are uh, are taken to be uh, typical problems uh, uh, which bring out the concept of the uh, related topic. Uh, the first problem uh, here is of gate 2009. It's on the basic operation of NAND and NORLHS. They are also sometimes said to be flip-flops. Uh, one has to find out the output for the applied inputs. Uh, second problem is of gate 2007. Output uh, uh, sequence is to be determined for the applied input uh, uh, to the NAND latches. Third problem is of gate uh, 1998. And uh, we have to find to the NAND latch uh, one input is applied the sequence. We have to find the output uh, of the latch. And the fourth problem is a digital circuit. A digital circuit is given having uh, one null edge. One has to determine the output corresponding to the clock transition and the data transition D. Now uh, we will see uh, the corresponding problem. This is the first problem. Uh, this problem is of gate uh, 2009 and it's of two marks. It's indicated here, sun flip flops. This problem ref uh, states as refer to the NAND and null latches shown in the figure. The input P1, P2 for both the latches are first made 0, 1 and then after a few seconds made 1, 1. The corresponding stable uh, outputs Q1 and Q2R. There are four possible combinations here given here. Uh, these combinations are one for the NAND. There are two outputs here corresponding to NAND latch and then corresponding to NAR latch. There are two outputs. Similarly, there are four combinations given for these uh, uh, latches and we have to find that which is the uh, right kind of the output. Uh, we notice from here <coughs> Uh, this says the corresponding stable outputs Q1 and Q2 are. It says that Q1 and Q2, the stable outputs are here. Uh, but the outputs like 0, 0, this 0, 0 and 1, 1. Basically, they are not the stable outputs. But anyway, he says that these are the outputs for the stable states, but actually they are not uh, the stable outputs. Others are stable outputs. Okay, so now see uh, the figure here. Uh, is uh, uh, if you notice here, this is a nine latch, and this is a nor latch. Uh, we notice here these are P1 and P2 inputs, and Q1 and Q2, as per the notation given in this uh, problem. Similarly, this is P1, P2, and the Q1, Q2. But there is a standard notation uh, corresponding to this is you can uh, notice here this NAND latch is a uh, active low latch and this is the active high latch. So the corresponding inputs uh, to this uh, latch, uh, the standard ones uh, we have seen here this corresponds to S bar and this is R bar and this is Q1, Q output Q1 is Q and this is Q bar output. Similarly uh, for the input uh, of the NOR latch uh, this if you notice here this P1 and P2 here this P1 corresponds to R and uh, uh, the output here uh, that is a Q and that is uh, 
and this S is corresponds to Q bar. That means these are the two outputs here. These these are the standards input. You notice here that this input uh, R and the corresponding output is Q. While it is the other way in the NAND latch. So this you have to see. To be very careful about this part. Now we'll uh, see the problem and uh, see how the solution can be obtained. Here says uh, that a nine latch is active low that we have already so shown. Active low means this is S and this is R. This set input, this is the reset input. That means these inputs will be active only when they are low. Similarly, this RS, this reset and set will be active when they are high. So that is the basic thing. So that's why we said that NAND light is active low, that is S and bar R inputs are active when low and NAND light is active high, then R and nuts are high, then they are ahead. Now first input P1, P2 is 0, 1 and then mid 1, 1. So we have to see now, uh, first this is 0, 0 and then it's a mid to 1, 1. <coughs> If we observe here, uh, if the input is 0, 1, you can see here, uh, we can observe here, if the input is uh, uh, 0, 1, that means this input is uh, 0, 1, this is 0, and this is 1. This means, uh, what is active here? This is set terminal, this is reset terminal. Here, set is active. When set is active means the output here will be 1. The output will be 1 here uh, when the set is active. Uh, next time, uh, when the uh, other input 1, 1 is applied here, that they become 1, 1. Now this is 1 and this is also 1. When 1, 1 input is applied, neither set is active now reset is active. That means it will be the previous state. That means it will remain in the previous state. So the state uh, was like uh, it has earlier came to 1, 0. So the same state will remain in this flip-flop. Okay. So that is the state of this flip-flop. So that uh, we have indicated here. Through this, uh, you can notice here, NAT latch input is 0, 1. That is S bar, R bar, S bar is 0, R is 1, R bar is 1, since F is active low, so S bar that is set will be active and set is active means Q will be 1 and Q0 will be 0 and so it is output is 1, 0. Now next uh, state is 1, 1 and that corresponds to uh, that there is neither set is active nor reset is active. So it will give me in the previous state. So this is 1, 0. Okay, so earlier also it is one zero, and next state is also one zero. Now we can see uh, again this uh, uh, NOR latch. You can see here the initial uh, input is zero, and, uh, and this is uh, zero, and the other is one. Now here, if we notice, uh, this is reset, and this is set and this is active high. That means when this output will be set. That means when it is when it will be set. Set means this Q will be high. So this will be high 1 and this will be 0. So this is 1 0. Okay, now when the input is made uh, 1 1, when both are this is 1 and this is also made 1, both are 1. What is happening? Here both set, set and reset are active. That means it is the state uh, which has indeterminate state. But uh, indeterminate state uh, is uh, because of this uh, uh, nor here because one of the inputs here is always 1 so it will give me the output as 0. So 0, 0, both the outputs will be 0, 0 here. But this state is not the stable state here. But anyway, this option C uh, is the uh, right choice uh, in this problem. 
so you can again I can show you here this is uh, for the latch nor latch when both inputs uh, are one both input active in that may state but we see that one input to nor top is one so output will be zero zero although it's uh, unstable state but the output will be zero zero here okay so option C is the right choice here option C C is the right choice okay thank you